Governor Mark Dayton says his AOL emails are secure. Hillary Clinton said she followed all the rules while using a personal email account when she was Secretary of State. Yesterday, she told reporters that she handed over about 30,000 work-related emails, but, quote, chose not to keep another 30,000 personal ones. So tonight, we thought we would answer a question from Janice in Minneapolis. What happens when you delete an email? Good question. Heather Brown joins us right now. And I know that Janice asked this question. She wanted to know, do they just disappear or do they go into cyberspace? Well, she did ask those <laughs> two questions as well. And the answer, Janice, is neither. What ultimately happens to an email can really depend on when and from where it was sent. But for the most part, at least in the short term, those trashed emails are not gone. Do you keep your inbox pretty clean? Yes. As a matter of fact, when you walked up, I was deleting email. I can just read the subject. I already know I don't need it. Delete. Done. <laughs> Bye. Or is it? Can you really delete an email? Eventually, yeah. Nate Dittmar leads forensic investigations. He's found old, old emails people assumed were long gone. We have our ways. <laughs> Do you know where it goes? No, no idea. <laughs> like to know, but no idea. Kind of think of it as like a, a library book on the shelf. So when you delete an email, you're not really getting rid of the book. You're getting rid of the card catalog entry. You're just pushing the, the hide button. You're not pushing delete. You're pushing the hide button. You're telling the computer to not really pay attention to kind of forget that that email is there. He says when we get rid of emails on our computers, I delete it and then I go to the trash and I delete the trash. They remain on our email provider servers. They have different retention policies. Some of them can be 30 days. Some of them can be over a year. But once that time has passed, the providers say they delete too. They need the space. Once it's purged from those servers, is it gone for good? From their archives, yes according to them. And that's when a forensic investigator we have specialized uh, <laughs> training tools techniques can sometimes get it back. It's entirely possible that there's still an artifact or a remnant of that email sitting on your computer or mobile device. Somebody could probably find it. Yeah, and that's why you keep it clean. That's why you keep it clean. And our expert says even emails that are years old can be found in places like email archives or pieces of them could be found on computers or tablets or phones. Sometimes they can get the whole email back. Sometimes it's just part of it, like who sent it and when they sent it. And sometimes they say those emails are gone for good. But isn't that incredible? That is interesting. It is. Yeah, the one guy's right. They're just hiding. They're not yeah, gone. Right. No. Um, be careful what you say. Don't keep it she clean. Said, keep it keep clean. It clean. Yeah. Thank interesting. you. Interesting. Thank you, Heather. Mm -hmm.